Why don't you want to try again in your struggling marriage? Hey there, I'm Sharon Pope. I help strong and successful women who are struggling in disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or move forward without regret. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe. Two people decide to get married. It means they've chosen each other to spend the rest of their life together. But then several years into the marriage, what started out as two people being inseparable now becomes incompatible. My name is Sharon Pope. I am a master life coach and a seven time best-selling author on love and relationships. I help women who are struggling in their lonely and disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or lovingly release it without regret. You can go to clarityformymarriage.com to explore if there's a fit for you and I to work together today. Today we're talking about why you may not want to try again in your struggling marriage. People find their way to my work predominantly when they are in the place of indecision of do I stay and somehow make this work or stay and endure or is the only answer to leave the marriage. They don't know how to make it better, so that just leads them to a question mark but the thought of leaving feels terrifying. So they just stay stuck in this place of indecision, of not knowing whether to stay or to go. Now, when someone joins one of my programs, one of the paths that many people will choose is to get equipped with real relationship tools that no one ever taught them before, and then genuinely give it their best shot, applying those tools again and again and again to see if something can shift not only in the relationship, but in their heart, because by the time they find their way to my work, they're super disconnected and they're doubtful that anything can actually change. But even though that's the plan, that's what they go in with in their head, sometimes they get into the work and they start learning the tools, but they don't apply them. And they're telling themselves, I need to try Otherwise, I'll never know. I need to try. It's the right thing to do. And yet they don't want to, right? And the reason for that is there's a lot of hurt. The resentments are deep and many. <laughs> and to be honest, many of them feel like they've been trying. Look, I've been trying for years. He hasn't done anything, right? And so that makes us resistant. The other reason that sometimes we don't try is that we spend some time beating ourselves up for maybe an affair or hurting our partner or lying. We just beat ourselves up for not being able to love a perfectly good man. And trying then feels maybe disingenuous at best and a waste of time at worst. So the most common reason that people who say that they want to try, don't actually apply the tools and start trying is because they think in the back of their minds, it's not conscious to them, but there's an idea that if I show up differently, right? And if I express my needs and my desires for this relationship and my partner changes, well, now I don't have a good reason to leave. So we think if we try, then we're going to be trapped and that we're going to be trapped in something that we don't value or that we don't want to be in. And we'll be back to being stuck, which isn't where we want to be. Here's what I want you to know. Look, there are only two people in the relationship. And if I ask you, tell me about the struggles in your marriage, you would have a whole story about that. But if I ask your partner, tell me about the struggles in your marriage, they're going to have a whole story about that, but it's going to sound dramatically different than yours. My point is, if the two of you, the only two people in the relationship don't see the issues the same way, then how can anyone outside the relationship ever actually understand what's going on inside your relationship in order to pass judgment on you? Because here's the deal. Look. Nobody has to understand your reason. Should you choose to end the marriage, nobody has to understand that. But you do. You have to like your reason. 
for making the decision to end the marriage because you're the only one that has to look yourself in the mirror years from now and go, that was a really difficult time. And it was the right decision for me. Now, in hindsight, I can look back and say that was the right decision for me, right? But the reason we resist trying is all because we think we've got to hang on to our excuse or our reason. It's not an excuse. It's a reason. And it's a perfectly valid reason that other people might understand so that we can avoid judgment, right? No one needs to understand. No one could possibly fully understand what's been going on in your heart and mind as it relates to this relationship for years or even decades. And so when you give up this idea that other people have to understand so that I won't be painted as the bad guy, should I choose to end the marriage, then you might actually begin to try. You might learn the tools. You might start applying them just for yourself at first. See what shifts within yourself. And then you might start applying some of the tools inside your marriage, right? Because the only way to know in the stay or go question, can the relationship evolve to a place that feels good for both of us? How do you think you know? You actually try and you give it your best. And if at the end of that, it still doesn't work and it still doesn't feel good for you, then you do have an answer that you can make peace with. All right. I hope that that was super helpful for you and gives you something to really think about if you've been resisting trying again in your own struggling marriage. If you like what you heard on this channel, please subscribe and definitely go to three things to know.com. That's the number three, not spelled out three, just the number three things to know.com. That's my brand new ebook. It's entitled three things men want, or sorry, that women want men to know. But this book is for men and the women who want to be in relationship with men. There's some things that we've got to be able to talk about. And sometimes people say to me, Sharon, if only you could come to my house and talk to my husband, then, then it would all work out. If you could just say these words, well, these are those words. So go to three things to know.com. It is absolutely free and it's a really quick read. All right, and if you wanna be notified every time we post a new video, at the end of this video, there's a place where you just click a button and you'll get notified. All right, until next time, take really good care.